I think it's important for a number of reasons. Um, one, familiarity with experts, particularly in our undue influence cases, our financial elder abuse cases, which often are also in the will and trust arena. We need to have good experts to explain to the trier of fact, be it a judge or a jury, how our client was manipulated. How did their cognitive impairment allow them to be manipulated in this way? And you can't do that without good experts. So if you don't regularly practice in the area, you don't know who are the experts in this field and who are the best ones that can communicate best with the jury. Also a point I touched on earlier, which is the law. The law in the elder abuse arena is changing rapidly. And the only way you can keep up with it is an attorney who regularly does this. We're doing this day in, day out. We keep up on the law and that gives us an advantage because often, you know, the judges are not keeping up on that law because the judges have to keep up with all different types of issues. So the more you establish that this is your focus, then you get extra credibility with the judges because they know they can trust you, that this is an area of law that you practice day in, day out. Thank you.